Okay, Zas, we chat to Vadashi, and welcome to what's gonna be my 11th part of Let's Play Call of Wars Bound of Blood! And uh, in this part, I'm just gonna be taking off right after we had escaped the town on the stagecoaches. Okay, thanks. I always love these hints. These are always, like, the greatest fucking things to ever happen. They're always so useful. Running River said, War! Like a running river talks in third person. Running river gathers a tribal council, but won't listen to our council. <laughs> what a pr suck up prick! You know, running river was cool back when he was walking river, but ever since he got up upgraded to a running river, all the power's gone to his head. And it is the source of power. It is the people of this land who were given the key to the secret place. So Running River will wage a war on the white man. He will use the sacred medallion to buy many rifles. Huma's pa asks, who will sell us these rifles? The whites? Perhaps we can ask them to shoot themselves as well. He's got a good point, Running River. Puma's paw has no teeth anymore. He meows like a kitten. In the south. Where the treasure and is then hidden, we will bump Pearl Harbor. Who hate the white coyotes as much as we do. They will sell us the weapons. It is beyond the mountains and across the great river. Who will venture on this journey? Only the strongest and bravest son, of us. Shazam, seen father, he speaks the language of the whites, as did his mother. Clearly you speak the language of the whites as well. You are talking to us in English. you are one of us. By causing a war, which will bring annihilation upon our people? Ick. Seeing farther deserves his name. And maybe he deserves to be called coward. Imbayabishan. No one, not even the great Apache chief running river, will call me a coward. Then prove your worth. Prove you're an Apache. You know, you, you guys know what happens after this, right? You declare war on us and then genocide happens against you? It, it... You will have your war. I guess, you know, some of them had the farsight to see that and some didn't. respect the creator or those who remember his childhood. He wants to take the medallion from its place of safety and bring the life giver's wrath down on his people. It won't be Running River who makes the sacrifice, but his tribe and his son. Puma Pa yeah. has spoken. This Running River is a real River prick. Has spoken. Prepare for war. Then prepare for genocide. I don't really know what that was all about. I guess the Apaches are declaring war on me and Thomas, and slowly me and Thomas, or Ray and Thomas, I guess I'm not Ray, I could be, potentially, maybe he's like my ancestor or something, I'm not sure. Mexico, what a godforsaken land. Truly. Ray heard tales of a great Aztec treasure hidden in the foothills near the border town of Juarez. Was said Why to be are all these conquistadors all running around? Seek it will find only madness. The locals call this greedy fever call of Juarez. It's creative. Ray laughed off the curse and convinced Thomas that we could use this treasure to rebuild our life and our home back in Georgia. We were talking about this very subject in a little cantina near San Lorenzo when my brothers first laid eyes on her. She looked like, she looked an, like angel. an angel. Oh my god! Holy yes. crap, did I call that or what? It can be deceiving. Even in Mexico, they still have mutton chops. Well, we are. Of that Although this is probably slightly after the golden age of mutton chops, money. I guess. Are you talking about us, little brother? That treasure is nothing but a fairy tale. There's only one decent way for God-fearing people to make their fortune. With hard work and sacrifice. Blah, 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 blah. Or 
We can find some rich son of a bitch and put a gun to his head. You're drunk. I'm getting there. Tomorrow we'll buy some equipment and start our search. We got a lot of ground to cover. Right now, though, I just need a little more tequila and a woman of questionable moral character. Don't we all, Ray? Don't we all? Vaya, God Dios. Everyone's checking out her ass. Who the hell is that? What'd you hurry, little lady? Uh oh, uh oh. Rape is gonna go down. Baboso. Mr. Devlin, I'd like to see Thug. You. What if I don't want to see him? He wants to see you today, senorita, in his bed, wearing nothing but a smile. Pendejo! Hey, I wouldn't mind seeing her in my bed wearing nothing but a smile either, so... But he never buys a mirror unless it's already broke in, so maybe I should take you for a ride and knock some of the fight out of you. Come on, thug! You little whore! Take her down! Oh! Okay. That was a good shot, man. That was a f fucking awesome shot. Of course, we're gonna play as Ray again. Because Ray is clearly the most badass. Fear me. Uh, what tipped you off? Get close. Shh. Oh, you didn't stand a chance, you prick. He came charging right at me. I found this new gun. It's called, like, the Quick Shot or something, and it shoots faster than any other gun and reloads way faster, and you can just unload, like, a. A chamber into one guy and just go back out and hide. Although it burns through a lot of ammo, it's pretty awesome. Um, okay, yeah, we, we wiped them out fairly efficiently. Come on, come on. 